Well, there is new work underway to use algae to produce fuel. The University of Michigan is now getting funding to create a new type of diesel that burns cleaner. It's a move that would cut pollution and help the country meet future energy goals. 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith is joining us live. So Matt, what's unique about what researchers in Ann Arbor are doing? Well, the University of Michigan is really looking at this full circle. So they take the guys who actually work with the engines, they pair them with the guys who are working under the microscopes and the beakers, even the people who are growing algae so they can turn it into fuel. And when it's all said and done, you'll be able to open up your gas cap. If you're running a diesel engine, you'll be able to fill up that sucker with something that started as algae. Sure, it looks like a green mess, but that's algae grown on the U of M campus for a purpose. In a lab, that green algae is turned into what's known as biofuel, something that would take tens of thousands of years for naturally occurring oil. We could do it on the time scale of 20 minutes instead of millennia. But what's more amazing than that, this fuel is renewable, and it could solve a real life problem heading at us faster than the cars the fuel can run. But growing this stuff in a trough is easier than the end goal, giant algae farms. At the size of a commercial scale pond, they crash. Nature throws weather fronts at you, it throws disease, it throws things that like to eat these algae. So one of the things we're trying to figure out is how do we work with Mother Nature instead of fighting against her to create a pond that can have a more continuous source of algae. As Professor Cardinal explains, a small farm in a state like Arizona or Hawaii could produce all the biodiesel needed to fuel the U.S. You need to convert the entire corn production of our country to do something similar. But why is all this important? Well, it's about fuel emissions. Remember those Volkswagen graveyards in Pontiac last year? That was the fallout of VW cheating emissions standards and putting hundreds of thousands of cars onto our road polluting the air. In labs like these, they're creating a fuel that the U.S. Department of Energy thinks they can cut emissions by 60 percent. And what's different in these U of M labs, they're doing the whole production from farm to lab, the folks burning this stuff in the lab in actual real life engines. We'll be able to play with different model fuel mixtures and then give feedback to my colleagues who are going to process the algae into fuel. Uh, we have this, just this fantastic opportunity to make a difference. This is really just a grand way to say what comes out of your tailpipe really matters when you're driving down the road. We're talking about global warming, but we're also talking about energy independence. Think about not having to import all those millions and billions of barrels of oil. If this becomes a reality, it can really help Americans meet that energy goal that has already been set standards by Congress and also by law. So this is stuff that is happening right in our own backyard and it could change the world that we live in down the line. Hey, we're in Southfield this morning. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News. And